it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Dom food review just for you and just for you. I am in the awesome town of Orillia, Ontario, Canada at an Arby's to do their three cheese and bacon sub sandwich. I have never had it before. I haven't had a whole lot of Arby's in my life, so this will be new for me as it is for you, hopefully. Love Narp Hi, how are you doing today? I'm good, how about yourself? All right, I'd like to try that uh, three cheese and bacon sandwich. Just the same one, you can love the combo. Uh, let's do the combo. Curly fries? Yes, please. And the drink? Uh, let's go, uh, I guess, uh, Pepsi. Perfect, anything else for you today? Uh, can I get like four horsey sauces with that? Yes, sure can. That was a three cheese and bacon, curly fries, Pepsi, and four horsey sauce on the side. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, people. Time to eat some Arby's. Oh, I could have tapped. Damn it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's park it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are parked. Oh, you can smell those curly fries. Can you smell them? Scratch it. Sniff it. It's going to be all mine. Whoa, lots of bonus fries. Because this thing was, oh, that thing was turned sideways. Oh, look at this nice little sub box. I asked them for four horsey sauces, and guess what? They gave me four. They didn't just like grab a bunch and throw them in. They gave me exactly what I wanted. Arby's, you rock. Bag is so deep. Ooh la la. Bonus fries. Mmm. Mm. Nice and hot. A little Cajun style. Look how many curly fries we got. Don't touch it. It's mine. Holy cow. It's like Christmas. There's even more. I went with Pepsi today. <clears throat> Show the logo. Before we open this up, I was on the website and I'm like trying to figure out what the third cheese was because they say it's Swiss cheese, shredded cheddar, and then there's a Parmesan peppercorn ranch and I thought that was like a sauce and it probably is a sauce but for my in my brain that wasn't an extra cheese it wasn't like a slice of cheese uh, so that's why I was a little confused because ranch to me is just ranch uh, whether you put cheese in it or not so anyway let's get into this take a close look all right ladies and gentlemen there is your extreme close-up of the three cheese and pepper bacon sub at Arby's wow check out this Soft, warm, fresh, super awesome bun. Let's try to open this up. Wow, it is not gonna open up, I just know it. So again, there's your Swiss cheese, your cheddar, and I guess maybe on the bottom, maybe right over there somewhere, is the other cheese. Only way to find out is to take her out, take a bite. You can see the pepper bacon there that we couldn't see on the close up and all this meat is just pouring out the side. Check out that meat. Ooh la la. Scratch it, sniff it, the rest is mine again. I'm sorry if you're hungry. I won't be soon. Here we go. Mm. I love the roast beef. Mm. Took a couple bites, a, top, a, little, a couple seconds in my mouth to slowly get all those flavors. Because at first, as you could see, there was a lot of uh, roast beef on that first bite. Seasoned roast beef, that is, by the way. If you live in Aurelia or you live in Toronto and you go to the cottage, get off the highway, drop into this uh, Arby's and try out their roast beef sandwich. Because there's not, I think there's like maybe two Arby's in all of Ontario. So it's a nice little treat to have here in Ontario. So I'm going to try and get a bite with this bacon off to the side. What I was trying to explain, though was uh, when I bit into it, I got lots of the seasoned roast beef, then eventually the cheese started coming through and the cheddar is awesome. And then it was mixed with that peppercorn, Parmesan ranch stuff and the uh, Swiss cheese all combined. Mmm, let's go in for this bite. This, this, we, didn't, we missed bacon in the first bite. We gotta get it on this one, here we go. Mmm, right here, right here, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mmm. Wow. Come on. There we go. Extra bonus shot. I know sometimes food doesn't look that good 
when you're videotaping it in a car under certain kinds of lighting and stuff. And a lot of people say, oh, that looks disgusting. But in this situation, whether it looks disgusting or not, it tastes awesome. You gotta try this. Oh boy, I gotta go in for another bite. This bite is gonna go out to all my special one o'clock in the morning people who live in this city or town, I think it's the city now, of Aurelia. This bite's for you. Check out Arby's. Mmm. Mmm. That is fantastic. It's that peppercorn, the Parmesan peppercorn ranch, making this pop in my mouth. Almost spat, let me clean up. Let's try it with a little horsey sauce. So this is mayonnaise mixed with horseradish. I discovered that like, oh my goodness, I really split her open. Ooh la la. If you love roast beef, you know you have to have a little bit of horseradish on it or a lot of horseradish. In this case, they made this really cool uh, horsey sauce, so it is mayonnaise-y looking, but it has the kick, and I'm talking kick, of horseradish. Let's go in for a bite. Oh, this is going to be a special, special bite just for me. Mmm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, <laughs> that is so good. Oh, oh I can't stop. Screw the speed up part. <laughs> One more bite. One more bite. <laughs> okay, enough screwing around. Are you guys ready for the speed up? Hang on. Time to polish off those fries. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? Yes, it did. All right, guys. On my rating scale, I just want to. I just want to sit here and savor that. It was so good. As you can tell, on my rating scale, guys, I'm going to give. Arby's three cheese and bacon. I go out and get it now. It was absolutely fantastic. As you could probably tell as I was devouring it uh, before the fast motion, during the fast motion, and as I'm relating it back to you right now. The this the three sauces or the three cheeses came together perfectly. The bacon was awesome. Actually I wish there's the only thing I'd do to that differently is one more strip of bacon because it was like pushed all the way to the back. I guess maybe it was the person who made it. Maybe they just whipped it together really fast and the bacon was off to the side. It would be nice to get the crunchy bacon all the way through, but it was a nice little surprise, I guess, bite as you got near the other side of the sandwich. Anyway guys, if you love these videos, you know, want to see more of these, especially the Arby's one, because uh, it's about an hour north of me. So I got to do some traveling to just come up here and eat sandwiches just for you and just for you. So if you love those videos, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss another one. But if you liked this video, like I like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic Food Review. Ken Domic out. Boop. All right, ladies. <clears throat> All right, ladies food already, like a french fry is still floating around there. Shredded cheddar cheese. Dude, and the paper's on the ground. Ah! Couldn't find the phone. Couldn't find the phone. Couldn't find the phone. Couldn't find the phone. Oh boy. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I missed. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.